Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a quick mini haul for you to show you some things that I've been purchasing for my classroom. I wanted to show you what my thoughts and ideas were about the new year, trying to keep students separated as much as possible, what I'm um, thinking about putting in, and where I'm headed. So let's get started. I'm just going to start on this side because I don't have too much. I don't have as much as I normally buy, but I thought I would go ahead and show you what I've been buying. So I will start with Target. Um, I went ahead and picked up one of these at Target. Um, I have some on my board right now that I got last year from Target. I really wanted the, the teal color because that's my color. But I, the thing I don't like about the ones that I have is that it's just one little spot and the markers constantly fall. And if you don't have it full of markers, then they're constantly tipping over. So I thought this might be good because I can keep like black markers here, colored markers here, maybe eraser here, or if I needed a pointer or something, it just had little compartments. So I thought that would be really good to keep on my board so I had stuff easy to handle. I picked up, if you saw any of my other videos, I've been talking about my book bins and they're all mismatched. So I went ahead and picked up some book bins. I only got 10 because I only have two book bin shelves out right now. Um, with the way our classroom setup is going to be, I don't know that I'll be able to have anything else out. So I just wanted to get 10 to go on the shelf. I have some books that can go this way, some books that can go this way, but at least now they are all the same. And they're white, so I can bleach them. So that's that. Um, I got, um, for my students' welcome back gifts, I got some little blue bags. And I'm planning on putting some shark stickers or decals on these um, that, you know, maybe says something like, you know, welcome to a Jawsome year or something like, something like that. And then also in that trip, I picked these up. These are just little um, books that are kind of pre-made. There's not very many sheets in there. I think there's only 16 pages, so it won't last them too long. But it has the lined paper. I don't know if you can see the lined paper on that. Um, so that they can, actually I can just open it up and show you, they can uh, practice handwriting because I imagine for a lot of our students coming back we're going to have to spend some time on letters, just reviewing letters, you see that? I just thought they were great. It goes all the way through the alphabet and then it goes over numbers all the way up and then it has just a couple pages of practice so maybe writing practice writing your name and I thought these would just be good for the first couple weeks back at school because uh, with distance learning at the end of last year I know a lot of our babies coming up are going to need some extra practice and these were three dollars for eight so I thought that was a, an awesome deal an awesome find I might even pick up more of the handwriting one um, I also got some of these little things. I don't know if you can see those. Um, I got these for STEM um, bins because my students are going to have to do individual STEM bins. They're not going to be able to share. So I picked those up and those up for STEM bins. And they were $3 for each little pack. And I thought that was you know, a pretty good deal. I, you know, I know with STEM bins I can, if we use them, let's say we use STEM bins every Wednesday, which is kind of what we used to do. We actually used to do STEM bins every Friday. But on Friday afternoons, then I can just take these kind of things and I can put them in the sink with some cleaner and let them soak um, and then let them lay out and dry over the weekend. So that's my thought. That way that they can still do that kind of stuff. I don't want to take that kind of stuff away from them. I picked up some dice. Um, can never have too many dice. For a dollar for six dice, I thought that was really good. And then I also got these notebooks. These are just solid. I'll open them solid sheets, but they were crayons, and they were super cute, so, um, and I already had, like, three sets of these notebooks in my cabinet that I was going to use at the end of the year, they're just plain, but I thought, you know, they could use these for something, and then they, I can send them home, um, or I can keep them and document some writing samples throughout the year, we'll see, but I got those too, for three dollars, you know, that kind of stuff is so good to have, it's so handy, I got some lanyards for three dollars I think it's a pack of ten and my plan is not just to put their name on it on the back of each lanyard I'm going to put um, their numbers their passwords and stuff just in case they need it for something that we do and then I love these little pocket squares anytime I see these I always pick them up <laughs> 
already have quite a few of them, but because I'm going to be redoing these bins, my plan is to use these labels on the front of these bins. So if it's this bin, then I can have, you know, if it's Clifford Books, I can have that on the front of that bin. I also got some long um, white on, right on, wipe off sentence strips. I have so many of these that are paper form, but I wanted some that I could just use a dry erase marker and erase. I got those two. That's that from Target. Oh, I got so much more. Um, so if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm quite obsessed with sharks, and my whole classroom is shark themed. So I just I don't know why I saw the shark paper plates and I picked them up. I know that we'll need them for something. I got these shark paper plates. I got a stick the teeth on the shark game. I don't even know if we'll be able to use it. Maybe at the end of the year, if we're kind of maybe back to a more normal routine, we can use it for like an end of the year party. And I got shark straws. So maybe an end of the year celebration of, you know, we made it through a, a crazy year. Who knows? But, you know, you can never have it. <laughs> too much shark stuff, in my opinion. So. Um, I also got a ton of these little glowy necklaces. I got the glowy necklaces and the glowy bracelets somewhere. Um, glowy bracelets and glowy necklaces. And they have a little shark pendant that comes with them that you put on it. So I thought that might be fun because if I do a glowy party this year, like a sight word glowy party or a math glowy party of any kind, then I can have my students wear one of these, and they were a dollar, and there's two in each, two count in each. Um, so, or I can just set them up around the room for glowy parties, or maybe I can use them as a reward if I can't do glowy parties, so, yeah, it's good to have. I also got some squishy sensory toys, um, I thought... I'm not going to be able to have like a bin where they can share them, but I can have them and if I notice a student having a bad day, which I know I'm going to have at least one student in my room that is going to need one of these. So I thought I could let, just let that student hold on to it and then if I needed to switch it, then I can always clean it at the end of the day because they're, they're easily to clean. I didn't want to get any fabric ones, I just got rubbery ones. And in those welcome back bags that I showed you, these little gift bags that I'm going to give my students, I'm going to give them one of the little stretchy sharks. So I thought they were cute. I actually got probably way too many packs of them. And I'll put those in like a reward system or a treasure box of some kind. And I think that might be all from Target. Nope, I'm wrong. I got one of these things too. I don't even know what this is for. My sons were playing with it, but it's a shark, so I had to I had to get it. So that's it. That's Target. Um, so now I'm going to move on to Big Lots. Um, I love Big Lots. We just had one built near us, so it's a lot closer. Um, so from Big Lots, I got just some little drawer dividers. If you saw my video with my desk, that middle drawer, I don't have any dividers in it, so I got this for that middle uh, part of my desk. That's not Big Lots, it's Five Below. I'm sorry. Five Below. I got all this stuff from Five Below. I got some felt tip pens, because they were way cheaper. I, get them there. I don't know if they're any good, but if they're not, my students can use them. I got these for my students, scented gel pens. And I think most of this stuff was just a couple dollars at Five Below. And then I got a ton of coloring books for indoor recess. My students love coloring at indoor recess. I think that they just, they don't get enough of it. So I picked up some coloring books. And is that all for big lots? Oh no. And then I also got Play-Doh. And I'm going to give them their own individual Play-Doh. They're going to keep it in their desk. Um, and then we'll use it because we use Play-Doh for lots of word work activities, for some phonemic awareness things. Um, but I can't, obviously they can't, I can't pass it out each time, so they're just going to have to have it in their desk, and it'll be their Play-Doh, and they'll get to keep it at the end of the year. So I picked up a bunch of that because it was, gosh, it was like $2 for the set, or $4 for the set, the Play-Doh. I don't even see it on here. 
I may have got it at a different time. It was, anyway, it was five below. So, super cheap. So that's that. And that's all from five below. So now we have Ikea, which if you saw my Ikea video, I didn't get a whole lot from Ikea because I have so much already. But I did get a few things. So I'm going to start with my bins. Um, I don't know how well you can see these bins because I can't see my camera very well. Um, so I'll hold them up. These are awesome. Um, I've always wanted to buy them, but then I thought, well, I don't, what better year because I'm going to have to keep things kind of sorted and separated. So I bought these for like their tissues or their Kleenex or something so that I can access them easy. I just bought two for right now. Um, but that's the plan is to use them for classroom supplies like Kleenex and um, wipes, Germex wipes, that kind of thing. So um, I know that keeping up with Mrs. Harris, she has some of the bigger ones and she puts their lunch boxes in those. But I have in the past had a, more than half of my class brought lunch boxes so they would never fit. Um, I'd have to have like six of those bins to fit. So. I did show you in that video that I got these, um, like little marker bobbers, paint bobbers, um, for activities, and my plan when it's time to use these is just to let them have their own, so they'll get to pick their own, um, and then they'll use it for, you know, center work or whatever, that's, that's the thought behind that. And then I did get more of these bins, I showed you, I have these bins like scattered around the room, um, but for, I think they were $2.99 for the three. Um, and they're really sturdy. They're great bins. So that's those. Clips on. And um, they're not going to be their school boxes, but I thought maybe I could. I already have math boxes for my students, so I'm sure I can find something to put in here that they're going to need to keep separately and not be able to share. Um, and so they'll have their own one of these or if I need them. And I don't even know if I'm gonna, what I'm going to use them for, but I have them. And then also from Ikea, I got one of these, and I talked about this in the video, where they're, I can hang their artwork um, from it, and then it'll dry, and it doesn't have to be spread out um, anywhere. So that's that. And then I do have one other thing from Sands. And that's these. This is what I'm going to use on my centers. Uh, or to organize my centers, I should say. It's just going to be stations by standard, so I'm just going to write the the math standard that we're going to be using, and all of those stations are going to go in there. So that's what I'm going to sort here in a minute. So you'll see those in action. And then I have just kind of a random box of junk, and I thought I'd kind of go through it with you. I brought my sharks back. My son was playing with them. I found this book. It's Scholastic, so that's going to um, go in my collection. I actually bought that book for all of my students. Got that from the Dollar Tree, just to wear, because I'm silly. Um, and then there's some little things that my students gave me at the end of last year that I needed to bring back. So I picked this thing up from SeaWorld, actually. It's a bubble blower. Isn't it cute? And I thought I could put bubbles in here, and then, like, if we're outside and we're having a bad day or we just need to smile, I could put blow bubbles around for my students and it's a shark. So I got that from SeaWorld actually. So, And that's pretty much it. The rest of this is just kind of random school supplies that I had from my house that I wanted to go ahead and bring up and pencils and all kinds of stuff. So that's that. So now that I have officially made a mess, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is just a few of the things that I have picked up. Oh, I have one more thing. this from five below. It's a hula hoop. Um, my plan is to use this for math. I'm going to put, um, what's it called? Pool noodles. I'm going to put pool noodles on it and use it for math for counting because it's a nice big visual. And if I have, you know, a green one in fives and a red one in fives and, the, and we can work on like um, adding with uh, you know, up to 10, so 1 and 9. You know, it's kind of like a wreck and wreck, but with a hula hoop. So, and then I can increase it because it's so big. So that's, that's the plan. I picked up a hula hoop. It was a dollar at 5 below. So I think that is all. So 
Thanks for joining me for this video. I hope that you maybe got some ideas for